A warm summer day means beachgoers enjoy the sun and sand. But on Friday, they also had to deal with a moderate rip current risk. It's scary. <laughs> the waves are intense. We were just sitting and, and the low tide part and it was still pulling us all over the place. And with the current being so rough, Wilson says they took breaks from the water during their beach visit. We just stayed out for a while and got in for short periods of time and came back. While another beachgoer says she couldn't believe the waves along the coast. When I first came onto the beach, I noticed and I said the current is kind of, it's rough. It's, it's rougher than it's normally during this time of day. That's why along the coast of Atlantic Beach, there are yellow flags posted on lifeguard stands and posts. Lifeguards and the fire department responded within seconds to rescue two people from a rip current Friday morning, which is why the flag system is so important. I looked for the flags and I saw it was a yellow flag. So I said, we have to be careful, don't go too far. When it comes to the flag system, there are three to look out for. A single yellow flag indicates a moderate risk. A single red flag means high rip currents, while double red flags means to stay out of the water. The ocean is always dangerous, even on a calm day, it's still water. Uh, if you think about it, um, we have people that, a lot of people that drown in swimming pools every day. So water can be dangerous for people who don't know how to swim, regardless of whether it's the ocean or not. And it's why they are stressing caution while you're having fun. Reporting in Atlantic Beach, Olivia Doles, WITN News.